Covering St. John's County, emotions running high in downtown St. Augustine, where a Confederate memorial was removed before dawn. Photos taken by a man who was there, Mark Tolzman, show the monument to General William Wing Loring being hauled away. It was moved to Trout Creek Fish Camp. News for Jack's reporter Zach Lasway is joining us live from St. Augustine. Zach, opponents came out to the site today. Yes, many people did, Tom. And also moving to that same location is this Confederate memorial behind us. St. Augustine City Commissioners voted to remove the oldest Civil War memorial in the state. At the center of controversy, the memorial is located in the center of Plaza de la Constitución. It pays homage to Confederate soldiers. The city provided an update to the memorial's dismantling. The statement reads, quote, The obelisk has been secured and lifted one inch. The crane will arrive tomorrow to lift the 10-ton obelisk from the base and see it on the ground. Next steps include welding and fabrication to securely wrap the base so that it can be safely lifted and moved, including the 16-inch marble slab base that was uncovered. But now all of a sudden people are rallying, why are you taking this down? Robert Fenn says he believes memorials and monuments erected to commemorate anyone who has done awful things should be removed. God bless. I hope everybody can get through this and understand why it's being taken down. Save our country. It's all part of history. It's what happened. Among several people walking through the park, children. Protesting the removal of the monument of General William Loring and the Confederate Memorial. Among them, St. Augustine Pastor Doug Russo. I would say to you people, you're nothing but a bunch of whining cry babies who have done nothing but believe a false narrative. It was Northern aggression that wanted to change the Constitution, not the heroic South. With no shortage of varying opinions, the University of Florida, which manages the property where the monument of General Loring stood, said the descendants of General Loring wanted the monument relocated and for his cremains to be exhumed and interned in a cemetery in St. Augustine. The university said the monument was moved to Trout Creek Fish Camp, the same location the Confederate Memorial will soon reside at. A city spokesperson tells me it will still be days before the memorial is removed from the plaza. We, of course, will continue to follow this developing story and bring you the latest on air and online at newsforjax.com. Reporting live in St. Augustine, I'm Zach Lajway, Channel 4, The Local Station.